I gotta tell you, I didn't see this one coming. Hello, I'm author John A. Douglas. I'm the author of The Black Crown, my self-published independent fantasy novel. And I am here today with a little bit of news, a little bit of news that I honestly didn't think I would ever see. It was announced January 11th, actually, when the news started circulating around today, that the long-running comic ElfQuest was receiving, at long last, an animated series. And for those of you who don't know, and I certainly didn't when, uh, before I discovered the comic, ElfQuest is a comic series that started in 1978, it, during the boom of uh, fantasy comics uh, in the 70s, 80s, and it ran independently and at several other different publishers. I I think even Marvel had them at one point uh, for a long time and only just recently may have wrapped up some of their stories. I haven't kept up with ElfQuest. I ended up finding ElfQuest via the trade paperbacks in my local library when I was trying to find free stuff to read and I really was enthralled by this series. It is interesting and unique and it has both that old school and a bit of a new age feel to it. It's penned by Richard and Wendy Penny, a husband-wife duo who are still together, who are still to this day uh, creating content for it. Uh, ElfQuest follows a small tribe of woodland elves as they seek to survive in a world with two moons, survive amongst the humans, uh, their enemies, the trolls. They go through a lot of adventures. There's a lot of a lot of action, a lot of magic, a lot of personal drama. It runs the whole gamut of everything you could expect from a high fantasy comic book. And they have been in control of their project for a long, long time. And it's always heartening to see because uh, I really appreciate projects that are, are in control by the creator for a long time. We've seen what happens to uh, really good uh, fantasy and uh, projects on TV when too many cooks spoil the broth uh, and you end up getting stories that are told by committee and the uh, you know the the tone and the the works of the creator end up getting diluted by uh, by modern writers who think they know better. ElfQuest, thankfully, has kind of remained its own thing, and I know they've been fighting to get some kind of an animated project uh, off the ground for a while. It's being produced by uh, Modern Magic, which is a relatively new um, animation studio that was started by one of the guys who was in charge of Into the Spider-Verse. They got contracted by Fox in order to start creating a new, uh, what they call new wave animated projects, and this wound up being one of them. And I gotta say, as I read the article in question, I was pretty heartened by it. I was a little optimistic. And usually, those who know me know I'm not. I'm usually very cynical about uh, Hollywood adaptations these days. However, being animated uh, is a good thing because the look of uh, ElfQuest is very unique. Uh, it's got a very comic bookish feel, but it also has uh, a very unique alien look to it. The elves look like you would think elves would, or how elves were presented in the past. Rather than just tall, pretty humans with long ears, they're presented as uh, this kind of uh, otherworldly, alienish uh, vibe to them. They, they, they're humanoid, but they look unhuman enough to be uh, different and distinct. But at the same time, you know, they're not so unhuman looking that they're unappealing, which some creators can end up falling into. And what's really cool about this is a lot of it didn't come, a lot of this news didn't come through with a bunch of the buzzwords you hear associating with uh, modern Hollywood and the, the way they adapt things and constantly talking about wanting to adapt for modern audiences, which is usually the kiss of death, uh, or and them wanting to insert their own ideals or politics or uh, whatever they come up with that uh, kind of usurps what the original creator had, stuff via the uh, projects like The Witcher or The Wheel of Time where, you know, the original creator's vision was just completely stomped flat in favor of what Hollywood thought was better, uh, usually to the detriment of the actual work itself. Uh, that's always been a, a bug that's crawled down my back for quite some time. So... I am taking this with a bit of a grain of salt and a bit of a very, very cautious tone. I don't usually get excited about a lot of uh, announcements that come out of Hollywood or, or these days, especially when it comes to adapting something I really like. But I do like 
elf quest and i've been meaning to do uh, some videos on it at some point but it, with this announcement i just had to get this out there because honestly i've got my hopes up just a little bit that said there's a lot of elf quest that is ripe for being uh, in the quote modern audience uh, arena with a lot of the message uh lest a lot of us forget if you haven't uh, read it uh you have to understand that uh, being started in the 70s, ElfQuest did kind of have one foot on the hippie side of that generation, uh, where there are elements in the story where it's, you know, implied that the, the elves are a bit on the free love side, where they're, uh, they're not explicitly beholden to their partners, which is kind of weird because there's an element in the comic where uh, they're, uh, where husbands and wives uh, find each other specifically through a uh, magical uh, matching method. Uh, I don't want to really give a whole lot of way, but it's always kind of had that little bit of a progressive uh, lean to it. But at the same time, uh, Wendy and Richard Penny are also authors who understand how to write comics that appeal to both uh, men and women. Uh, and their comics are very well written, very well structured. They are imaginative uh, creators who know how to do action, adventure, intrigue, uh, romance. Like I said, they run the whole gamut of uh, what you would expect in a really great fantasy story. ElfQuest, to me, is one of those uh, uh, things in the fantasy genre that kind of gets forgotten about when everyone thinks about the greats of, uh, you know, who contributed to the fantasy genre. Everybody thinks of Tolkien, Robert E. Howard, and Robert Jordan. Uh, most of fantasy really gets... Uh, gets its uh, the lion's share of its attention on the novel side of things and the great fantasy comics that have come and gone since sometimes get a little bit forgotten but ElfQuest has been a mainstay since the 70s and that's really an accomplishment in and of itself seeing it adapted uh, onto an animated form especially if it's the kind of spider-verse style animation that sticks to the the style of the comic itself and doesn't end up like something like the dragon lance animated movie could be something really great because we don't always have a whole lot of great fantasy animation these days that's not intended for you know the disney channel uh, probably the only thing i can think of is uh the legend of vox machina which is based on the critical role campaign and that is a great show and that doesn't get enough attention either but having said that uh, this could really fill a good void in fantasy television that is uh, not getting filled for me these days because most of the shows we get in fantasy TV are uh, very poorly adapted, in my opinion. Um, and I've meant to, I'm going to rant on those another day. But for now, uh, it's being helmed by Susan Hurwitz Arneson, who, if you look, has a body of work that is respectable and uh, quality. Um, and this is a nice change of pace from what the Disney norm is, which is to take somebody who has no experience with the characters, the source material, or anything like that, and put them in charge of it, and then just think all the special effects and uh, reshoots in the world can fix it. Uh, and as Disney's finding, uh, and Marvel's finding out right now with Echo, that's not the case, and it's, they're pumping out just one bad project after another. Fantasy, for me, works really well in animation. And I think this is uh, does seem to have the right pedigree, and it seems to have good people behind it. I'm still a little cautious, but hopefully Richard and Wendy Penny will be on hand to kind of guide their hands in this uh, project. And it's supposed to be an hour-long uh, animated series, so that's really cool. I'm hoping that this does the comic series justice and a whole new series of fans ends up finding it and going back and reading these comics. These comics have been the life work of this couple for a long time, and if any project deserves an animated series, it is ElfQuest. And I'm excited to see where this goes. I'll probably review the show when it comes out just to see uh, how good it, it's done. But until then, call me slightly cautiously optimistic. Uh, there's a little bit of frost fro uh, that is unfrozen from my uh, cold, dead heart. But in the meantime, we'll just have to wait and see. And I'll update you as this goes along. Uh, for now, I'm John A. Douglas. Until next time, hail the Iron Age. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button for me. 
If you didn't enjoy it, I thank you for watching this long. Either way, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. My independently published fantasy novel, The Black Crown, is now available on Amazon in ebook and paperback. Sign up for my newsletter at johnadouglas.com and you'll get five chapters for free. Until next time, hail the Iron Age.